are you? Welcome to your October love reading. October 2018 for uh, Aries. This is a general reading. How's your October so far? I hope you're having a great October. Um, this is a general reading. If you'd like a private reading, please contact me at shacy.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. Love to hear from you. And also with the holidays not that far away, I know it's so scary the holidays are so close, but I offer um, private readings also that you can give as gifts. There are virtual gift cards on my website, shacy.com. I would love to hear from you, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. Order your gift certificates, uh, virtual gift cards for friends or family um, it's something that's unique to offer for a gift, you know, having a reading. Okay, your cards are jumping out already, Aries. We're going to get started. Please like, subscribe, and share. Click the bell if you'd like further notifications. Just shuffling your cards here and two fell out. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Your first card up is the chariot. Wow, look at that. Major Arcana right away. You got the chariot. So the chariot represents um, action and change. Okay, you're definitely on the right path, whatever path you've started or chosen or you've been on, whatever journey you've been on, um, you're determined, you have victory. And uh, this also represents cancer, water energy. So you could have a cancer in your life, doesn't have to be, it could be your partner. Um, definitely, definitely action and change. So you're, you're determined, you're having victory, and you're on your rightful path, whatever that path is that maybe you have chosen or your partner's chosen. You have the two of winter next, okay? The two of winter is, is swords energy, okay? Um, air and swords. Now, the two of, basically this is saying the, the two of swords, okay? So the two of swords in the traditional rider weight is you're trying to uh, make a decision. Okay, you're 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 trying to come up with a decision and balancing two things at a time, or um, basically you're at a stalemate. You're 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 trying to figure out which way you want to go, what you want to do. You're thinking. You're thinking, um, coming to some sort of decision. Okay, let me see that. It says, indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. So your heart and your head are having a little bit of a fight on which way to go. Okay, but no matter what, you're going. It looks like you're making that decision because a chariot is is uh, action and change and it's your rightful path so spirit is saying so far you're making the right decisions whatever that decision might be whether it's in love or whether it's in career but this is a love reading so take it as it resonates okay let's see what else aries please october 2018 what messages do you have for aries October 2018. This could be career and love, okay? Because um, I'm using the Doreen Virtue tarot deck, um, the fairy deck, which is uh, by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And it has a career path in here, like money, wealth, um, love, overall life in here, okay? Please give me any more messages, Spirit, for Aries. While I'm shuffling, I'd really appreciate if you could click on the thumbs up button. That'd be so awesome. And I hope to do live readings one day uh, when I get a chance. Uh, I, I'm with my girls full time, so my time is limited, okay? We appreciate any donations you can make to our channel to keep it going as well. All my girls and I really appreciate that. Okay, wow. We have the lovers here. True love that is long-lasting. Choices made from the heart, a return to good health. You've got the lovers. This is definitely a love decision, a balance of two together. It's a deep love. Or you could have a Gemini in your life as well. Okay, it's a deep love. It also can represent a partnership. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, a partner love love. It could be love partnership, a, a deep love um, 
of respect between very close friends, but usually the lovers represents a love decision, a maturity of love, a deep, deep uh, love decision, okay? Then you have the magician. Wow, somebody is manifesting. Are you manifesting? Someone's working hard, okay? Because here you were trying to make decisions, right? You were, you were, um, it says indecision was holding you back and you're trying to make the choice that's best, at right, that's right for you instead of pleasing others. Because, I mean, we're all guilty of that. You know, we're always worried what other people think and what, you know, if I do this, are they going to think that? What if I do this, then so-and-so is going to think that? And, oh, I can't win. Which way do I go? Well, at the end of the day, you're the one that has to live with your decisions, no one else. So, you know, it's not being selfish, doing what's right for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to live with that decision. Yes, you could take other people's opinions into consideration. But also at the end of the day, you're the one that lives with your decisions, right? So you have to make the one that's right for you, okay? Um, I should say that anything you do is your decision. Don't do anything based upon a reading. This is just a guide for you. Any decisions you make is your own choice and your own free will, okay? You do have success that's coming from self-discipline. So you are on the right path, okay? So then you have, like I said, the magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So have faith in yourself because so far you're on the right path. You've got the Chariot Major Arcana, you've got Lovers, that's a Major Arcana, you've got Magician, that's a Major Arcana. That's three Major Arcanas out of four cards already. You're doing awesome, whatever you're doing, keep it up. You're moving forward, okay? Then you have the Three of Summer. Wow, there you go. News worth celebrating, announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends you cherish. You are having some kind of a celebration. So you could have manifested a new love, a new partner, and it's coming true. Okay. Um, it was a decision that you had made. Maybe you made a decision um, to move forward in, in a job, but I don't see any pentacles here yet. Okay. This is all so far. This is making a decision. We've got love here. We've got manifesting. We've got moving forward. Um and celebrating accomplishments. So it could be that, you know, your career and your love life is going very, very well and you've been manifesting and working very hard on all of this and now you're celebrating, okay? Any more messages, please, for Aries? Any more messages for Aries? Seven of Summer, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. No more procrastinating. See, you've, you're making decisions. You're making decisions. And it looks like you're making the right decisions because that's where your power comes from. When you overanalyze everything, sometimes it makes it harder to make a decision. You make a mountain out of a mohill. You know that old saying, don't make a mountain out of a mohill? Well, that, that's what happens sometimes when we overanalyze. When we, when we think for too, too long making a decision, you can sometimes overanalyze. But you're the magician. You're manifesting, and it's working because you have the chariot and the lovers, and you have celebration. Yay. I think you're moving forward. It looks like you're doing everything the right way. You're on the right path, whether that be love, career, or both. And two more jumped out for you, so I'm going to take those. Wow. Oh, you're doing great, Aries. You got the world, a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. Look at that. Okay, so it sounds like you've got the world in your hands. A brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. You can go in any direction. You're manifesting, you're being successful, you can go in any direction. You're celebrating. Um, perhaps it's this new love. It's moving forward. You're, it's making you very happy. And you've got the Queen of Winter. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. So, basically, let go of anything 
that is no longer in your best interest. Okay? Anybody that's kind of negative around you, um, you want to, you know, you want to let go because they're not in your best interest. And, and that won't help you move forward if you're with somebody that, um, that um, isn't serving you in a, in a positive way. You know, when they say, when we say serving you, we don't mean serving you. We mean a positive influence. If they're not a positive influence in your life, why would you really want them in your life, right? Okay. Now, this represents um, a person that's logical and they're very independent. So, this, this could be you. It's kind of like saying the Queen of Swords. And it, this is, this is I would say, is you. And it could be for male or female. It doesn't have to be female. Okay. And it could be your partner. But it's the energy. It's not necessarily the sign. Okay. It's not necessarily the astrological sign of anyone. It's the energy. Someone who's very independent. Um, and according to this reading, um, you're very independent. You are making the work. You're, you're manifesting, moving forward, career, love. Um, I don't see pentacles. I'm mostly, so far, it looks like it's all in love. You're moving forward here because you've got the chariot. You have the lovers. You have making the decision, manifesting, celebration. Um, it totally looks to me like it's all a love reading here so far. But let's uh, let's pull a traditional rider wait for you, Aries, and see what spirit has to say. Any more messages, please, for Aries? October 2018 spirit messages for Aries. October 2018. October 2018. Any more messages for Aries? Messages for Aries, please, Spirit. October 2018. October 2000. There we go. The Knight of Wands. Fire energy, speed and action, passion, travel, okay, and offer. This is usually fire energy, okay, could be Sagittarius in your life, doesn't have to be, but it's somebody who's passionate and creative, represents speed and action, it's a very fiery, passionate night. That could represent you or your partner. They're coming in passionately. The lovers. This is all about love, you're reading. So it sounds like you've got the world in your hands, the chariot. You've got the lovers. Someone here is full of passion. Um, you're also fire energy, so this could be you. You're all fired up and you're looking forward and... You've got the world in your hands and you're manifesting and you're moving forward and you're doing awesome. Okay, any more? I almost want to stop the reading right here because this is so positive. I don't want to break it. You're doing so awesome. Any more messages, please, for Aries, October 2018. Strength. Yes. You've shown lots of strength. I would say another major arcana. You definitely have shown lots of strength. I can tell from these cards, you're moving forward, you're manifesting, you made your decisions, you're not procrastinating, you're moving forward, you're doing it. Whatever it is you want, you're taking control, you're having the patience and confidence, you're getting rid of whoever doesn't um, serve you in your life, whoever's not positive in your life, and you're building a strong circle of support, friends, Whatever it is around you or your partner. And you're making it happen. Good for you. You're taking control. I'm going to leave your message here because this is, this is an awesome reading. Wow. One of the most positive readings of the month so far. Congratulations, Aries. It looks like everything's going great for you. That's fantastic. Keep it up and I hope everything continues to go on an upward swing for you. And thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your reading as much as I enjoyed doing it. 
Again, personal reading, hit me up at shasie.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com. Tell your friends, share my video. Um, maybe buy some gifts for friends or family with a virtual gift card at shasie.com and have a great rest of your October. Bye-bye. Thank you.